With 27 Americans dead and more than a dozen missing, America's top diplomat came to Israel to reassure families. I spoke to Secretary of State Antony Blinken about the stakes of Israel's growing war effort. Mr. Secretary, you and the president have made clear the U.S. has Israel's back during this time. Is there a limit to that support, especially as we lean toward what could be the beginning of a ground war? Lester, what we've seen here is, is something, to most of us, almost uh, unimaginable. I think there's a, both an absolute revulsion at what we've seen and also a determination to stand strongly against it. So we stand with Israel. It has not only a right, but I think an obligation to take the, the steps necessary to defend its people and also to ensure to the best of its ability that this can't happen again. You haven't discussed any red lines with Prime Minister Netanyahu? We are talking to them about their, their plans, how they propose to proceed, but I'm not going to get into any of the operational details. Uh, and again, we're determined to support them. You had a chance to meet with Americans who have loved ones who are missing, many of them presumed kidnapped. I've had conversations with many of those same folks. They want their government to stand up and take responsibility and find these folks and bring them safely home. What assurance can you give them? First, Lester, and you know this from talking to some of these families, no one can fully put themselves in, in their shoes. No one can know what this experience is like. We are doing everything we can to secure the freedom of those who've been, been taken hostage. I also asked and Secretary Blinken yeah. about news no. today that the U.S. and Qatar have agreed to deny Iran's access to $6 billion, which was due to be released as part of a recent prisoner swap. Was that a, an acknowledgment that Iran might have been involved in this attack? Well, two things here. First, when it comes to uh, Iran and its, its uh, possible involvement, Iran's had a long relationship with Hamas. Uh, Hamas wouldn't be Hamas without the support over many, many years from Iran. When it comes to this specific attack, in this moment, we don't have direct evidence that uh, Iran was involved in the attack, either in planning it or carrying it out. But that, that could change. Now, when it comes to the $6 billion, it's important to be very clear because, unfortunately, some people are either misinformed or they're misinforming. Uh, the money in question, Iranian money, not American taxpayer dollars, is money that was allowed to accrue in a bank account from the sale of Iranian oil. What we did is we moved the money from one account uh, in South Korea to another account in Qatar where the money could actually be used, but under the supervision of our Treasury Department, only for humanitarian purposes, and not a dollar of that money has been spent to date. And we retain the right to freeze that account. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.